What is up guys? It's your boy Alex here checking in with a freaking vlog because I haven't really vlogged in a long time. I have produced a lot of videos just sitting down and then talking about finances, the economy, things like that. But today we're going to go ahead and do it and show you what a day in the life in Utah is like while everybody in the U.S. is basically quarantined. But in Utah, guess what? Spoiler alert. We're, we're not really exactly quarantined per se. I wouldn't say, in my experience, that there's a lot of law enforcement to stopping people just because they wanted to figure out if they're like doing essential things in life to just keep alive, like grocery shopping, things like that. Because right now, I'm about to head to the gym and guess what? It is a Saturday, so you might be surprised a little bit. Gyms are open in Utah. There are a lot of gyms that have been closed because of COVID-19, but I spent a couple of hours doing some research and I found some gyms that were open while everything is closed. I would say the most amount of people I've seen all together, including myself, is like four people at a pretty wide ranging space. So I'm gonna hit there and uh, yeah, let's get to the gym. And we are at the gym. I just cannot stay at home and do some like BS home workout because that's just not sufficient for me. I just don't feel like I've done anything, even though I tried to like go to failure and stuff. It just, I've tried it so many times before and it just does not work well. So I'm gonna go get a, get a little pump in, dude. And I am back in my room because guess what? I freaking jinxed it and just about two days ago, a day after I was recording my video, guess what? The freaking governor decided to put and enforce this quarantine through just basically saying that people should be traveling only to go to work doing essential things like shopping for groceries and uh, that's about it. So just two things. So really like a quarantine that I think LA is having right now and also New York is having right now. I've read one article that says that police are trying to enforce this so people could get like a $500 fine for not doing things that they aren't supposed to do when they're supposed to be staying at home or just going out to get food and stuff like that or going to work. So yeah, now I'm... This is no bueno. I thought Utah was going to be like one of the last states to like do anything serious like this. Mainly because no one's freaking out right now. I don't think a lot of people are freaking out as much as it is going on in like LA. I don't see a lot of people wearing masks to work. I'm still going to work. Majority of the my workplace is going to like telework and stuff, but I personally have to go into work. I don't feel endangered. I don't feel um, like my life has been somewhat normal, right? My, the only thing that really has changed is that I can't sit down at a restaurant anymore and eat inside a restaurant. But who gives a crap about that because you could just do takeout and uh, not pay for tips and save money that way. Or I use credit cards so there are certain like benefits with that. And when it comes to like pickup orders, I save money through that way too. So it does not change my daily or weekly habits per se if I was to go out to eat. And if I was to even go out to eat, I would usually go to like fast casual restaurants, not a sit down type of restaurant. So I guess in my perspective, it, it just, there wasn't a lot of restrictions besides my normal gym closing. And then I had to spend like a couple of hours to do the research for like a new one. I'm afraid that now that the governor has pushed for this enforcement of the quarantine and actually starting to ticket people for it, I'm afraid that the gym that I'm going to right now is going to shut down temporarily and which leaves me to do freaking body weight exercises or just work out, work out at home and I, I'm just not a freaking big fan of that so and I'm saying this because this working out is a very big deal to me it, it gives me some sort of purpose and it gives me stability of not only like my body but also my mind like it clears things up it's like 
a form of meditation that I've practiced for over 10 years now that if I don't go to the gym and lift heavy ass weight, I just can't, I can't focus on my life. Like my life is not complete without it. So it just it throws a lot of things into the mix and yeah, um, either way, I am still going to try to continue to like keep up with my body and keep up with my health regardless of what happens, but it's just going to be a little bit harder and a little bit different and a little bit more difficult, I would say, since I'm used to going to the gym. I didn't think Utah had like a lot of cases, but I mean, here we are, you know. Freaking, freaking shit scared you. Coronavirus. Guess what, bitch? <laughs> Coronavirus. Coronavirus. I'm telling you, shit is real. Shit is getting real. Woo. That being said, I think my next few videos will just kind of look like this. All right, so today is the day that I found out my gym that I've been going to the past like half month finally like closed down or temporarily closed because of what's going on in the world right now. But even though I am really sad and um, yeah, even though I'm like super sad, I am trying to make do of what I have and actually Half a month ago, I decided to order some resistant bands. Uh, this is just one of them. Here's the second one. Here's the third one. And then here's the fourth one. So four different types of resistance so I could actually do a decent workout at home. Yeehaw! I'm a cowboy! Oh! I've actually did my first home workouts today with these bands and also some of these like they call they're, they're not called booty bands but that's just like slang term for like these but really they are called hip circles because these emphasize the glutes whenever you put them around your leg so anyways i use that for my lower body workout and this video was not supposed to be talking about like how i'm preparing for my health or like how i'm keeping up with my health uh the past week or so or during this quarantine because um, originally my idea of this video was to actually show you how lenient Utah was and within a week of me recording it because I started last Saturday it, it got really restricted right it, it got to the point where every business was closing down essentially temporarily closing down including the gym and yeah that kind of sucks things are getting real man I guess this is depending on perspective but I'm I'm not like I'm still going to work, so I am able to get out of the house every weekday. So I'm not like crazy and like cab having cabin fever at home. I'm I'm kept pretty busy at work, so I, I'm good with that. That's cool because I don't have to experience cabin fever right now. Even though I know I will have it if I stay in the house for like longer than two days without doing anything. So that's a good thing. Um. But the weekends are going to be either very restricted or uh, restricted because, I mean, obviously it is restricted already because I'm not supposed to, supposed to go like traveling to non-essential places, you know. Regardless, I'm going to try to keep as a positive of an outlook and a mindset throughout these next few weeks or months whenever... Whenever this lasts is because no one really knows. There's so much uncertainty right now that we, I'm not even sure what the heck is going on. I thought this thing was going to blow over within like a couple of weeks, but here we are. Half a month in, probably more than half a month in. It's probably more than a month now. We're, we're, things are getting more real each and every day. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I know this video has been, I don't know, it's more of like an update. I'm going to get back with my night and I still have work tomorrow so I'm gonna head over to work and uh, yeah hopefully this is somewhat entertaining and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later dude!
Dada on me, took a shot and I 